Hi, I'm Peter from Igloo Vision, and today I'm just going to be showing you inside our video conferencing suite. To start off with, I've set the first scene as a holding image. So Deacon is one of our clients, and I have just their backdrop. And you would revert to this at the beginning, the end, or somewhere in between of a presentation if you need to take a break. On the bottom left hand of the screen, you'll see I've got my controls for the cameras. And on the bottom right, you can see our logo, which can be replaced with any other PNG image, uh, image that you may need. So to start off with, I'll show you a wide angle view of this room. We have three cameras in here plus this wide angle one. You can see walking around the room, I have a laptop feed uh, behind me. I have uh, a zoom gallery view of all my participants. I have confidence displays scattered around behind each camera. This way I know what I'm broadcasting. And then I have my Igloo web, which can be polls, it can be a whiteboard, YouTube, whatever we want to cast onto an Igloo web. The three cameras are scattered across the room. So camera one to my left, camera two directly in front of me, camera three to my right on a tripod. So camera one, we've titled a discussion camera because it's placed in front of the uh, gallery view. So I can uh, have it at pointed at the lectern as well as into the center of the room. So when it's in the center of the room, uh, this is me having a discussion with my gallery view, which I can show you from this camera angle right here. So I'm talking to that camera up there and my participants can see me talking to them as well. And this camera angle is also great because I can walk up and point to Tamara, ask her a question and get Shari to challenge her answer and they can all see themselves conversing in the same discussion. So with my iPad, I can also change the camera angle uh, back to my face, standing in the same spot, and they can see my facial expressions, especially if I zoom in. And you can see me just talking to them. Uh, I can also change this angle out to where our Igloo web is. And I can walk up to this and I can change the polls through my iPad, change the commands, and ask my participants to vote. All I have to do is uh, go to this web address up the top, cast their answers, and I'll be able to discuss with the class with what they chose. Uh, through the Igloo web app, uh, I can also change it to another tab. And this is uh, our whiteboard. Where I can write and contribute and send out a link and my class can do the same. I can do that on my iPad, I can do that on my desktop, um, can really involve the whole room. So another camera angle we have is the one that's dead center to the lectern. Uh, this is great for a presentation, it has my content behind me and if I want to focus more on that I can zoom it out a little bit. Uh, it gives me the freedom to walk and point and uh, talk about what I want to in my presentation, what stands out. If there's something in finer detail, I can change the output to be that directly. So I can do this. And that is my direct feed for the, um, for the laptop, which is great for finer text. I can also do picture in picture. So while also having my laptop as the main output, I can also have a camera in the room so I can still talk and converse with my participants. Uh, we have another camera angle that zooms in. Uh, this is great for trying to explain smaller objects and finer detail. The cameras have an autofocus. So this is a remote one that I'm holding. The PTZ cameras come with this and I can change and navigate the cameras with this and I'll show that to you in just a minute. 
So our third camera is the tripod camera. So this is great. It's not in a permanent fixture in the room. It can be moved around and uh, catered to what your unique presentation might be if it includes large props. Uh, I can also just zoom in to get another camera angle. You can see some of my participants behind me. I can zoom out a little bit to get my uh, content or my presentation. can zoom in onto the ground, so if you have any large heavy props, you would be able to focus in on those. And autofocus will pick it up, and even though you can only really see my shoes at this stage. And then on the same tripod camera is where we have this third person view of having a discussion with your video wall. So I'll now show you a little bit around the room and how we've built it. As these were the camera presets and the igloo capture presets.